so much momentum that the Arizona State basketball program, the men's program, has built in recent years. Postponements, cancellations, and now you look at Arizona State, four players off the court, it's really hard to find the rhythm and flow to meet the expectations they had earlier this season. Josh. And finding gaps for pull-ups. A lot of times freshmen are going a thousand miles per hour and charging into the defense. Look at this. Look at the white jerseys. Oh, that was a screen and roll. And as soon as Mobley had the ball coming his way, how many white jerseys were near him? Yeah, like three. I don't know, four. <laughs> you know, so for Evan, double or triple. And last Saturday uh, here we saw it at the Galen Center against Utah. Utah immediately doubled him on every touch. He's a good passer, though. He has nice. He's yes. very skilled. And so there's going to be lots of opportunities for him to play make with all that attention. Well, this is the thing. Well, let's see, not charge there. So that's the part of Evan Mobley's game. We saw this during the Arizona game Thursday. There's the defense. <laughs> Look yeah. at the surround. Yeah, it's a surround. And, and you know, a recognition of that quicker. Also, guards change the angle around your big. Move without the ball. We may help each other out, you know. <laughs> well, Mobley picked up the offensive foul there. And Christopher, well, he scored the first five. 41, 42, 40, like four players playing almost 40, 40 plus minutes in the last game for Arizona State. So actually yesterday, they had a mental day. Arizona State, they practiced, but they didn't do anything too physical. They didn't run up and down. It was just about using your head and letting their legs rest. And that's even. The balance, you know, working for each other as well and then you know all those shots you get tired too and you know to the point earlier about minutes you got Alonso Chris Austin comes out to set that high screen for Verge and then gets a bench of his time at Santa Clara Moore in a scoring role he and Drew Peterson sharing as position and they have different ways of helping helping their teammates out Bagley strong off the baseline too strong and there's that. They're also he's also their most improved defender. You know, he's really bought into the concepts for USC's defense. Okay. Wow, Bagley right there. But could not get the finish. And Edie has it. To be flexible that we talked about and be willing to be positive and adjust and adapt. Uh, that pass across the baseline. Noah Bauman in the game for the Trojans with the steal. Oh, hey. I mean, they were just very conscious of being fatigued in legs. They, they, they just watched film. Nice play inside, and Evan Mobley will see can do today. Reference to the very beginning. The Arizona sweep, USC. You know, it's hard to practice, and a lot of these guys had to learn the plays through Zoom and video. It's, it's quite impressive what they've been able to put together so far. You see, Verge, Ver, well, he wanted to go on Evan Mobley there, and he gave the ball up. He's gonna go up now. That's Can't get team. over him there. This is what will get people's attention. This guy wants to shoot and score. Absolutely. No, no, no. Long arms and quick jumps with the block. National standings. The Cougs coming into the weekend leading in field goal defense percent. Trojans fourth. It's been a USC staple. Even though their team is chemistry, he needed guys that would buy in on the defensive end. And he said that's what this team is doing. There's Mobley disrupting a pass, and that will create a... They're trying to create for themselves one-on-one. -on -one. These are all difficult shots shooting over defenders right there. Oh, that's a lot of size there, as well as... Uh, size. Goodwin is big. Goodwin. Chavez Goodwin as well. Yeah. Yep. I mean, there's... Oh, nice. You know, ASU, these shots, they're, they're working hard in the half-court set for even any opportunity to look at the basket. There yeah. you go. That's the Mobley... That changes everything. And that's the sort of thing that we have seen early in his likely one year. Yeah. That, but that grabs your attention is the ability to do that from the very first game. Isn't that kind of... Basketball terrifically, but the NBA is the one that has to change it. And the, the NBA must, I think, for the betterment of that. Well, with the wow. screen and yes. step back, it's a nice read. You know, you've got the defender deep in the paint waiting for the drive, so he's got to make easier offense for each other. And the magical corner three, which is the one that, that has become kind of the go-to three, and there's an and one for Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley asserting himself right now and showing you all the different ranges that he can play at.
really good around the rim. You know, this is someone that is skilled in his footwork, skilled in his hands, catch, touch, with contact. And he doesn't. That's why, uh, having seen USC a bit this year, I, I know there's a lot of buzz about UCLA, and there always is with Oregon. And, and, it, and it starts with, you know, meeting the hype. And for Evan Mobley, he's doing that. And one thing Coach Enfield take against Mobley, that sequence when Mobley guarded him, mm -hmm. he just couldn't get the ball over. He got it there and made it. Well, if you don't get it once, you try, try again. <laughs> and look, Alonzo Verge Jr., this is someone who led the nation in points per game off the bench. Going down, but Bagley has seven rebounds yeah. in the game, and that was one of his to-dos for today. You know, he hadn't played a whole bunch of games since, like, the USC is working defensively. First of all, the shot is contested. Zona Thursday, by the way. Christopher, so far, just two out of seven. Arizona, just 27% shooting. And the question when we're watching the ball of the Sun Devils is where are they going to get points if it isn't? Now, oh, this is one guy that can do it. Would. I'm, the bucket's not going down, but Bagley's, you know, working in his role. What he's working on right now on the offensive end is hunting great age of, like, what are they, 18 to 22 if they end up staying the whole four years. I mean, this is a time when you're still even developing your confidence as I trust you. You start to take on that accountability and be hard on yourself and the right on these grad transfers they also have something to gain they haven't been approved they're hungry they're thirsty and he's absolutely making the most of the opportunity Josh one three years good play at portland state Who wants the last shot? Woods is going to take a 90-footer and hit it. Why not? Why not? He has been the catalyst on defense on a couple minutes of that first half. And he asserted himself not only just by, you know, asserting yourself doesn't just mean taking shots. He did have a hard time getting getting the ball through the hoop in the first half, but he sure was rebounding, which is one of his to-dos, and now finding some rhythm to start the first half. And a restage here. USC has not swept the Arizona trip in 35 years. Bagley right now is engaged, yes. working hard on the defensive end, working hard on the glass. You know, a lot of times with young players, freshman players, if your shot doesn't go, that you, you haven't learned other ways to affect the game or know how to stay with it. I mean, this is 17 to 1 for ASU on this road. And this is the sign of are you a good team or are you a great team? Great teams know how to stop the bleeding. USC can stop the bleeding is by taking care of the ball. Well, that's a nice pass out. Isaiah Mobley got the double, but he found Peterson. That's going against USC. How's that over the back? All right, goaltending. Goaltending so bucket. Score. Goal so, pending on back. About the confidence in ASU right now. Take care of the ball and reestablish your size advantage. Get the Mobley brothers involved. Get that Mobley got a piece of a foul line jumper. There it is. And then finishes. Where he, he's pivoty. He's up and under. He's touch in English. He's got a little slither to him, doesn't he? Slither yeah. is the word, yeah. So you think you beat him to the spot, and then he's got one light in size. So he makes up with it uh, with all that craftiness. Well, Isaiah Mobley's short, but Evan is there for the catch, clears it, and they clear the lane before there is still a three-second rule on the books. With another miss. ASU wants to avoid situations where USC's defense is just set up, stagnant, and, and really locking in on you. They the foul was on Verge. Josh Christopher does that three now for ASU, so that's a concern early in the half. That's a good defensive set. And coach, I would say I'm okay with, you know, the sequence there. Verge. They clock white. And that has been another shortcoming for USC today. Their three-point shooting has been invisible. You know what, though? You know how tiring that is? You're over there picking up four court. Lawrence. And now Woods. Hey. 
Verge went right into Evan Mobley and earned that block. Yeah, in deep, in traffic, up against bigger guys. You know, that's a situation where you're penetrating to maybe perhaps look to kick out. Sam Mobley had a good look. Defensive end. This is playing out the exact opposite for USC from Thursday night. Right now, they can't make a shot. It wasn't as extreme Thursday. They were never down by 18, but this is what they did. They just hung, hung, and never got knocked down. It wasn't as extreme Thursday. They were never down by 18, but this is what they did. They just hung, hung, and never got knocked down. Pac-12 Network, we've got all kinds of changes. Basically, Deputy Commissioner of the Conference, Jamie Zaninovich, who is the men's basketball administrator, he's basically an air traffic controller. Right? Mm -hmm. And he is trying to get 12 planes. Gets the ball in. Here's your point, DeVos. There you go. Boom. Bagley. And Josh Christopher making the right play. Monty Lawrence, we call them an X. Observation. They look rushed. The defense of ASU is rattling them, frazzling. Not a good one. Yep, and Verge, but Verge ends up getting a fan of him. Oh. You know, the, the, you guys got to work harder to shorten those passing lanes so that they can't get deflections on you. Yes, they just did. That pass Bagley saw coming. Isaiah Mosley. Bagley ties the game. You know, it's, it's, what's, it's why this year, it's just another factor. It adds to the frustration level. There's a ball taken from Goodwin. Bagley had a foul. It's going to give Arizona State a chance to have the lead for the first time since it was seven to five. USC is not strong with the ball. A ASU's deflecting them, active hands, uh, jamming them up. You know, you have nice feet inside. That was a good verge. Nice feed, Austin. Oh, he missed it. To be your main point guard is, it's not fair. Well, you saw that ASU and some of ASU's defensive numbers this year are not very good. Their turnover number is USC run their offense with force, cut hard, screen hard, work for each other to get each other open. And how long has it been since we've seen the Mobley brothers engaged on offense, you know? Evan Mobley is still a young player. He needs to also learn how do I assert myself to be in position for a pass. Old school, post up, back to the basket stuff, and he's getting pushed. And so, you know, as, and he, couldn't as, get, he couldn't establish that. Let's not forget he's a freshman. He's right. still learning. That's, so I think that's all of these factors are being in play right now because USC just, this is the polar opposite of their game Thursday. They just cannot make a shot Ooh. in the second half. And let's see what Thursday in Arizona. Woods blocked. Does the ball go to him? There it is. He's going. Double team. Tough turnaround. Nice. Something happens simply because when he touches the ball, two people come to him. And you know, Isaiah Mobley is a captain of the team and being looked at for leadership and all this and that. And you forget basketball family, though. The father, Eric Bosa, on the coaching staff. Eric Mobley. Nice roll by Evan. There's the double. Good decision. But, uh, last two minutes. Arizona State decisively won the last two minutes of the first half. That's a nice play. And there is Lee. Woods kicked it back instead of going at Evan Mobley. You think, <laughs> you think he learned a lesson? Transfers and freshmen and young players. And here you are starting to develop an identity. Oh, wow. Bagley had a great look there. And there's Evan Mobley to clear it. This is a big moment, story of the season. But this is a, this, if they hold on, this is a good, gritty win. You know, really help the team facilitate. He's, he's done a great job tonight.